I'm Adam Barber. Oh, hi, Adam. Hello. Nice to meet you. This is hi. my niece, Kiara. Hi, Kiara. Very nice to hi. meet you. When you're a young person documenting your journey through all 351 town and city halls, many are happy to roll out the red carpet. Oak Bluffs on Martha's Vineyard was no exception. Do you want to have a look around? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Kiara Barber of Worcester is happy to learn about the places she visits. This is our nice new kitchen. We've never, never had a kitchen before, so we're very excited. But she often finds the locals are equally as excited to learn about her. You, you uh, think you might want to get into municipal government? Maybe. Small gifts are not uncommon. Ooh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I got more stuff. What is that? But her favorites are the ones with local ties. We just have received Ooh. our 2024 Fireworks oh, t-shirt, nice. which Whoa. we would love for you to have. You're the first person to have one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Visits are always marked with a picture, though not usually a puppy. <laughs> no. But the friendship is brief because Kiara still has three town halls to go. Meanwhile, in the Quabbin Valley. Welcome to Pelham. We're a very small town but we're the oldest town hall still in continuous use. Cynthia Weigel is the current president of the Pelham Historical Society, which runs a small museum in this space, built as a church after an 1833 Massachusetts constitutional amendment mandated the separation of church and state. It was built 1839 to 1840, and then this became the town hall rather than a meeting house. This is the only remaining town center that has all four components. The church, the burial ground, the meeting house, and then also the parade ground, which is where the militia would train. Parts of that militia would gather here during Shays' Rebellion in 1787. His whole rebellion ultimately led to the current constitution that we have. Inside the town hall, time seems to stand still, engraved into the rows of original gallery seats and documented in the pages of Life magazine. Celebrating the 200th anniversary of the town meeting in, in Pelham and a democracy in Pelham in our 200-year-old town hall at that time, and now we're approaching our 300th in 2043. The Life article includes notes on past town hall debates, like the best way to remove porcupines. And although the issues have changed, the role of the town hall has not. And it's the only level of government where you can really access the people who provide you services by just walking right in and walking into an office and asking questions. And that's what I think one of the best things about having town hall and doing it the way we do it here in Massachusetts. As for Kiara, on June 1st, she completed her mission of visiting every town and city hall in the state. So what's next? Every week, we'll go to a place and we'll get ice cream from the place. So I'm not too full, but I'm not doing it like every month. <laughs> and Kiara's last stop on her town hall visit is the town of Gosnold. Yeah, people say, where's that, <laughs> right? So it's on the island of Cuddyhunk. Mm -hmm. It's only accessible by ferry. Population there, a grand total of 70 people. Can't believe she did that. Good for her. Good for her. That is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. And I'm Shannon Seymour. Have a great evening. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night, everyone. <laughs>